So we gathered some data about head circumference of people that drive lifted trucks and how high their trucks were lifted. And we wanted to figure out if we could predict their head size from measuring how high their trucks are lifted or uh, how high their trucks are lifted from their head size. Here's the data. We measured head size and we measured truck height. So everything's in centimeters. Uh, we made the head circumference, we made that the X variable and the truck height, we made that in centimeters, the Y variable. And here is the data plotted. It looks like, uh, it looks linear. It looks like we've got a relationship. So let's do linear regression on this data. Looks like there's a negative slope. It looks like from the data that as the head gets bigger, the truck height comes down. So we did linear regression. I just did it with Excel. Uh, we've got an R squared of, eh, it's not bad. And this is importantly what we've got here. I've got the X coefficient, the coefficient of the X variable is minus 5.2. Yeah, that negative slope. And the Y intercept 68. So that means if X is the head size, that's what we had on our graph, and Y is the truck height, that our line of our, our least squares regression line then is minus 5.26x plus 368. So we can use this line then. If we measured uh, Jimbo's head is 57 centimeters uh, diam uh, circumference, then we can put 57 in for x and we can figure out, we can estimate what the, or we can get the expected truck height. So expected truck height then is 68 centimeters. Now, say we wanted to do it the other way around. Uh, Kevin's trucks raised 40. So that would be the Y value here. So what we could do is, oh, actually what I'm about to do is wrong. And that's what I'm about to do is wrong. And that's the entire point of this video. I cannot use the line of least squares regression backwards. So I put in the 40 for the Y and then I'll solve for X here. So when I put in 40 for the truck uh, height, I'll get out 62 for the head size. That's wrong. You can't use the linear regression, least squares regression backwards. Why not? Well, the answer will be close. This 62 is close to the right answer, but it's not exactly the right answer. Why isn't it the right answer? Let's go back to our graph and the orange dots, I put in the, the orange dots represent the linear regression line. So what we're trying to do is uh, put in 40 and bounce it off the line and get the 62. You can't do that. What we did with uh, Jimbo was we put in the 57 into the line and got 68. So we put 57 into the line and got the 68. That's fine. Why can't I do it the other way around? Because when we built the linear regression line, we kept the X's as fixed and we reduced we minimized the least squares, the distance, but it was the vertical distance that we minimized. We kept the X's fixed and we minimized the Y distance. So the X's and Y's are by design different because the X's we thought were fixed numbers and the Y's are what we're trying to estimate. The proper way to do this, the proper way to work with Kevin's uh, 40 centimeter truck height is to switch the X's and Y's so every make the make the independent variable height that we're going to plug the 40 in make the dependent variable head size so switch the X's and the Y's I still get a negative line um, and redo the regression 
So when I redo the linear regression, I get that negative slope of uh, minus 1.4, and I get the uh, y-intercept of 66, and then use that to make a new linear regression line. So here's my new regression line. And if I put in the 40, so the y's for the truck height, and now what's my expected value of x for that? I get, well, it was close to the 62 doing it the wrong way. It was close, but it wasn't right. So what's my point in all this? When we make a linear regression line, we do least squares, we minimize least squares distance in the y direction. So it's different than when I made this least squares where I minimized in the other direction. So you can't just use a least squares regression line backwards. You have to make a new line. That's my point.